Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about what is cancer, the different types of tumours, risk factors for cancer and the summary. You may have heard of cancer, but what is cancer? Well, cancer is a disease and we can give the definition of cancer as the result of changes in cells that lead to uncontrolled cell division. So we know that cells divide through mitosis and this diagram shows a cell splitting in two during mitosis. Mitosis is something that's very carefully controlled by the body as the body normally only produces the amount of cells it needs and if you think about it this makes sense. The body doesn't want to produce more cells and use more energy when it has enough cells it needs for growth and repair. So cell division is very carefully controlled by genes in DNA. And this is a diagram of DNA, which we'll be going through in another video. But what's important is that the genes in DNA control our characteristics, including how many cells the body needs. So if cell division is so carefully controlled by the body, how does cancer occur? Well, cancer occurs when cells divide uncontrollably. And this is when the cells continue to divide and divide and grow and form a group of cells called a tumour. So in this diagram, this group of cells is called a tumour. And you can see that the cells are large and they've taken up a lot of space compared to the other cells around it. So you may be asking, what's the big deal with tumours? Well, tumours can cause problems because they can damage the area around it. So you can see here in this diagram that this cell is damaged and this could cause a problem as if enough cells are damaged, the person could become very ill. Although this can be dangerous, there are now lots of different treatments for cancer. So now we know that uncontrolled cell division leads to tumours. Now let's talk about the different types of tumours. This is because not all tumours are cancerous. There are in fact two different types, malignant tumours and benign tumours. So you have tumours that are bad for you and tumours that don't cause much harm. Now let's talk about malignant tumours. Well, malignant tumours are the ones you have to look out for as they can cause cancer. In this diagram, you can see that the cells are all in one place. However, with malignant tumours, cells can break off from the tumour and go into or invade the surrounding tissue. So these tumour cells break off and travel in your bloodstream all over the body. And this could form a problem as they form another secondary tumour. So if this happens, it can be fatal, as we've talked about before, how they destroy healthy tissue surrounding the tumour. So now let's talk about the other type of tumour, benign tumours. Well, benign tumours only stay in one place, and that means they're not cancerous or fatal, and this is because they don't destroy any healthy tissue. And this just means that damage doesn't occur to the cells surrounding it. Scientists have now discovered some of the risk factors for cancer. They found that the way you live can actually increase the risk of getting cancer. So having certain risk factors increases the risk of getting cancer. And these include smoking, obesity and UV exposure. I'm going to be talking about these and other risk factors in this video. So smoking increases the risk of cancer, especially in your lungs, but in other areas such as your mouth or your stomach. And this is because cigarettes contain chemicals that make it more likely to get cancer. Obesity is another risk factor and obesity is when your body mass is much higher than it should be and this causes a wide range of cancers. It's linked to bowel, liver and kidney cancer and after smoking it's known as the second biggest preventable cause of cancer. Now let's talk about another risk factor. Well the sun emits UV radiation. And that means when you're exposed to sunlight, you're also exposed to UV radiation. Being exposed to this can be a problem as it can increase your risk of skin cancer. Using sunbeds and not using sunscreen increases your exposure to UV radiation. And that means it can increase your risk of getting cancer. Getting cancer may not be due to your, how you live your life. You can also be more likely to get cancer because of your genes. You inherit your genes from your parents, 
but some of the genes may be faulty and that can cause cancer. But remember that having risk factors doesn't mean you'll definitely get cancer. You are just more likely. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.